Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back, and I'm here to give you guys another video. And in this video, we will be discussing the movie Brightburn, the super villain movie. So, I want to give you guys somewhat of an idea on what this movie's about. And it's really kind of not hard to figure out what it's about. It's an unknown alien that crash landed in a farm <coughs> that is Brightburn, Kansas, which is kind of similar to Smallville by the way and he ends up being found by the Briars Tori and Kyle Briar which obviously sounds very familiar but they end up taking adopting this baby in and hiding the ship, ship and they end up naming this baby Brandon now as you can all guess Brandon started off as a sweet innocent child but as the movie progressed, you start seeing something sinister. For example, his ship started emitting this red light and it kept making noises. So when he was sleeping, it almost looked like it was giving him a message. But then it seemed like he was being possessed by something because he would get up and he would start talking in a foreign language. And he ended up, you know, sleepwalking into the barn and end up trying to open that hidden door into where the ship was at because the ship was emitting that, that light and his mother Tori ends up finding him and Bray snapping him out of his little funk that he was in <clears throat> and then he ends up being told to mow the lawn by his father Kyle and this is when he started learning that he has some form of superpowers because he kept trying to get the lawnmower to work and it wasn't working and working he got pulling on it pulling on it and then he ended up throwing it like 50 meters away end up tossing that bad boy and then when he tossed the lawnmower he got up close and he did a tester on it and you know the scene where in the trailer if you remember me watching a trailer he stuck his hand in the blade part of it and end up <laughs> not getting cut at all and he ended up having a grin on his face after he realized oh I can't get hurt then you also have to look at his birthday on his birthday on his 12th birthday you know his uncle Noah buys him a gun for his birthday and his father Kyle was like nah he's too young to have a gun and that's when you start seeing the rebelliousness of Brandon because he wanted the gun he also ended up throwing a fit and as Kyle tried to grab him he couldn't move him because again he's like 50 times stronger than him and he ends up making a big scene and the biggest issue I have with this movie is that there's no kryptonite no magic no red sun and it's like you got this dude who cannot be stopped and his only form of weakness is his ship because when he was levitating after finding the ship and opening the bar, he levitates and the ship starts emitting more and more of that red radiation to him. And then that was the first time in 12 years that he ends up getting cut for the first time. And it's like a little shard or something. It's really unknown if his power source is the sun. We're just going to assume, because he seemed to have Kryptonian-like abilities, that we're going to assume that his power source is the sun. Um, because, like I said, he has way too many Kryptonian um, abilities. Okay, so, Tori, his mother, is actually the only care was the only character that believed in him and she kept denying a lot of and the funny thing is she had a scene where it was clearly Brandon or, or some semblance of somebody ripping the door open to the chickens and mutilating them but she was like oh it's a wolf and Kyle was like man can't no wolf do that it was like it's Brandon and he was like she was like no it is a wolf only the wolf and Kyle started to be like you know this guy ain't one of us we need to stop him now and you know him and Tori had a little beef about that because she really wanted a child and she really wanted to uh, have you know protect her child and not only that but she was always making excuses and denying some of the things that he did for example 
he ends up breaking Caitlyn's arm when they did a little trust fall so you gotta so when they're pushing each other and then he falls her she moves away because not too long ago he was watching using the super speed to, super speed excuse me to watch her while she was getting ready to try to sleep and stuff <coughs> and so you know she, he creeped her out and when she did that you could see that he was like he actually he actually says it. he says why so when they shook hands and she was about to have well he snapped it in half dog that was like really really gross and i do think he kept caitlin alive because of the simple fact i think his his species is like a parasite or something where he needs to procreate in order to make more of himself so i do think that's why he kind of kept her alive there's like two nasty scenes too another two nasty scenes i should say because this movie was full of gore the first nasty scene was his uh caitlin's mother erica who was left you know she was closing down her restaurant or whatever closing it down and Brandon ends up walking over there and as he goes over there he starts toying with her and bust out he literally busts out the light and it went all in her eye and then she ends up pulling it out of her eye god dude that scene was disgusting uh, like that scene was gross and then he ends up breaking it down and mutilating her the other one is when he went to his aunt's house and he made up a lie and he was like you know are you going to tell my mother and all that and she said she had to and he was like well it's you're bad because this is this gonna be on you and he was originally stalking her until noah came to the house and grabbed him and then he ends up you know messing with noah and when noah tried to escape he picked up the car dropped it down and when he dropped it down and it broke noah's mouth in half like split it in half oh that scene was disgusting too and every time he always had a symbol bb you know that's what he always did he mutilated man he when he messed up that lady cop like he threw her around like a rag doll like he pretty much Oh my god, he stomped the mess out of that lady cop. Because he exploded the male cop. He ended up exploding that cop. And then he ends up just throttling. I'm like, damn. Like, why is he throttling her so hard? Uh, how he kills his father is he just shoot lasers at, you know, heat vision at him and blow his head off. But uh, when his mother tries to kill him, he ends up just dropping her and. <laughs> and then taking a big airplane and dropping it onto the house and he ends up pretty much taking over the world as it appears he starts destroying everything and again there's no one who can stop him and then there's a plot that there's an Aquaman and a Wonder Woman like creature and some people say well maybe they should make a universe of this I would say no because they're stupid because what are you going to do with this movie if you do a sequel like what are you going to do are you going to have them all fight for dominance or anything or are you just going to have them take over the world or you're going to create like some foreign superhero type movie or something where they have to be stopped like that's the issue i have with if they make a sequel because right now this movie don't need a sequel at all and i will give this movie a six out of ten because like i said there was a lot of stuff it was just like the gore was cool really disgusting but it's just like come on man like he he can't be stopped like without any type of weakness or and there's no one fast enough or strong enough or quiet enough to be able to shoot those shards that could kill him you know could shoot it to kill him Hey, he he has quicker reflexes. He's faster than you, stronger. So it's just like, come on, man. Like, why? But I'm going to end this video. And if you liked my review of it, you can hit the like button. You can hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.